Some people have asked me, or students, how to approach to this theme. Uh, I've been still, I mean, I'm still practicing. I haven't reached the point I would like to play this piece, but still I can maybe give some suggestions. Guys, if, if you want to know how I'm practicing this piece then. Uh, one guy asked me, how should I practice, like, about the speed burst? Well, it depends depends on many things for example the um, the position you can have on the guitar i've been exploring all my uh, through my process the positions with the classical guitar sometimes i've been practicing like this sometimes i've been practicing like this uh, i think now i'm more like comfortable with this position but anyway each you know brain and hands have different process and and ways to play the guitar but anyway uh, for La Catedral, for example, this second part that some, I don't remember, somebody asked me how to approach to this part, then of course metronome forever and ever, and then for example we can take the first part, so I split the, the, the part uh, in different, yeah, I, I, I split the, the phrase in different parts. So for example, you can have the first part and change rhythms. So this part that is, right? So I practice, for example, like this. So three. Mm. Again. So this helps me, or yeah, I think it helps me a lot for shift things and be more secure with my right hand as, as well as my left hand um, and also you can practice well many teachers have said this to me you can practice with different tempos of course let's stop this for a while uh, different tempos different dynamics um, uh, even different positions i used to play also la catedral like this but some point I get I got some tensions uh, here in my shoulder. So, anyway, so I hope uh, this can help for somebody of those who ask me of my students or somebody there in Instagram. Cheers, greetings. <laughs>